Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back to Felsbrunn. And uh, today we're going to do a little upgrade on the farm. Uh, we just got released some new mods. Let me show them to you. Um, we got some really nice sheds, first of all. Uh, they come in various sizes. Uh, but these, these sheds, uh, as you can see, this... This one with four bays is about the same size as these uh, these small sheds that I've got already. But the nice thing about them is that they're completely enclosed. Uh, they've got four doors, and uh, apparently there are lights inside as well at night. So I think what I'd like to do is replace the shed that I have here, let me get out of here. I'd like to replace this shed here with one of those. And so we have a nice shed to store our vehicles in, um, with doors. We'll continue to leave the tools outside for now. So we'll have one that's open and one that's enclosed. Um, I'll just have to move the stuff out of there. Uh, so we'll get working on that. The other thing you may have noticed is that, I am now using an Xbox controller. Um, I've been using this for a couple days now, and I'm still convinced that a wheel and pedals is uh, the best way to do this. But um, the problem is that since I also do factorial videos where I need my keyboard and my mouse, uh, that requires me to remove the wheel and pedals every time I want to play Factorio, which is kind of a pain. So, um, so I've been practicing a bit with the Xbox controller, you know, just so that when I'm playing uh, for shorter periods, uh, I don't have to mess around with my setup. And so far it's going okay. Um, I'm, I'm still getting the hang of it. I'm not I'm not that great with it, and that's why I have my help window open all the time because I haven't memorized all the different uh, control combinations, but I'm getting there. I'm going to hire a worker on this guy. And then I always have my keyboard that I can, that I can bail out to uh, if I get lost. Um, but it's not bad. Um, it, it is better than using a keyboard to play the game, for sure, uh, because you have you know, variable steering and throttle and braking inputs. That's really the main thing that I'm after. Um, let me recenter my view. I think I'm, yeah, I was sitting a little low there. Um, and I still have my head tracking, uh, so that's nice. But uh, as far as, you know, precise steering, um, the, uh, the wheel and pedals are still the way to go. Um, you know, the problem with the controller is that you still get this it's hard to steer and it's hard to steer slightly. You know, you always have to kind of do it in increments. Um, and then the other small issue I have is that on, on this particular controller, uh, it wants to pull to the right a little bit. So if I just give it a little bit of pressure, it goes to the right and it stays like that. So sometimes you'll see me, sometimes you'll see me go left a few times. Um, that's the reason why. Okay, so I was getting ready to. Uh, I was getting ready to um, to spray that field, but I'm going to put that on hold now so that I can use this machine to move the tractor. Or to move these pallets, rather. And this will be the first time that I'm using the pallet fork with this thing. All right. So let's take a second to try out these controls. Okay. Yeah, you got to be real <laughs> you got to be real subtle with your uh with your inputs on this on these little sticks. Okay, but that's not too bad. Yeah, and like I said, you know, I don't I don't play console 
hardly ever. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not very good with this thing. I'm sure if my son was playing it, he would be, he would be having no problem whatsoever. All right, so we need to lower that just a bit. Okay, all right. Okay, not too bad. And I think I'll just put these. I'll just put these over here next to the next to the workshop for now, if I can. All right, and down, back up. No, back up. All right, down more, back up, down more, stay. <laughs> Whew. What a pain. Uh, and that brings me to the next little mod that I'm gonna be getting to. All right, raise it back up, there we go. Yeah, so we're sowing, uh, we're sowing soybeans over there on field 13. That's what the case tractor is doing. And we got all of our crops sold. Uh, we got a little bit of money now. 83,000, it's not a ton, but uh, it's, it's better than nothing. So I think we'll be able to afford to spend a little bit of it on a new shed. Okay, I've got a hold of it now. Now we want to lift. Okay, cool. And this is the solid fertilizer that we're not using anymore. So it's going to be a while before I use up any solid fertilizer, I think. Since we're not using any seeders that require it. I could always load it into my lime spreader. Okay, success. All right, now let's lift this up. All right, and I'll just leave this. I'll just leave this on here for now until we get this operation completed. Okay, we're getting close to finish with that field. And uh, the other fields are planted already. So if we look at growth, uh, we're in the first growth stage on all of these. And I think I... Did I turn growth back on? Yeah, I did turn growth back on. So, um, actually, I'm going to turn it off until we finish sowing that field because I really hate it when a growth stage hits when you're halfway done with the field and then you have different parts of the field in different growth stages. I, I don't want that to happen. Okay. So now we need to get the harvester out of the way. And I will simply pull this forward and park it here for now. Okay. All right. And it's empty. So now we can sell that. So we'll go to the garage. We go to the Easy Shed one, sell, and this is the one I want to sell. Okay, good. Didn't mess anything up. Okay, now let's buy the new one. And we're going to go with the four door. And I'm now going to switch to my keyboard and mouse. Um, no, don't tell me it can't be deformed here. What are you talking about? Let me rotate. Actually, let's... Now, there's a snap feature that I wish I had known about when I set these up the first time, because it's going to be hard to get these perfectly in line. I'll just try to line it up with this concrete pad that's already there. That looks good. I wonder if we snap now where that would put it. Yeah, 
it's not going to be in a good place. So we'll just bring it up to the corner here. And then let's check on the height. Why won't it let me put it there? Collides with an object. Okay, there it's too close to trees. I got that, but... I don't even want to... I don't want to deform anything. Yeah, you can't even... I can't even change the height. Are you kidding me? I just sold my shed for nothing. This is... It's perfectly flat. Let's see what happens if I try to put one of these back over here. No problem whatsoever. Okay, let's try this again. Four doors. frustrating. Okay. Um, let's try... What if I put it over here? Yeah, right. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can put it in the field if we want. But I don't want to do that. All right. Well, let's uh, let's just see what I can do when it's oriented this way. Let's find that one place where it's where it turns green. Right there. Okay. Good. And it's saved, so that change is now <laughs> irreversible. Okay, so we lost our little dirt access road here on the side. I guess that's not a big deal. Um, I do have a ton of space here in the yard. But, uh, yeah, look at this. How sweet is that? And there's a light. Oh no, that's for the gate. Is this for the lights? Yeah. Light is on. Um, at least it was on. Where's the light coming from? It must be coming from those fluorescent lights up there. But they don't actually light up. I think it's just providing ambient light. I'm just going to leave the light turned on so that I don't have to do it at nighttime. And we'll see how it looks in the evening. All right, so let's park this guy in our new shed. Let's pray to God that it fits. <laughs> it's going to be tight. I don't know if this header is going to fit in there. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that just be our luck? Yes. Okay, just barely. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Now the other thing is that like these, these doors on the side don't open, which is uh, kind of unfortunate, but... I guess that's okay. Not a big deal. All right, let's close it. Nice. And then we'll open these up for our other two tractors. And then we still got space for another one when I have money for another tractor, which is not going to be anytime soon if I keep spending it on things like sheds. 
Okay, let's see how our sewing is going. We're getting there. It won't be much longer. Okay, a couple other nice mods. There is a fuel tank, uh, which I'm thinking of getting. Um, actually, let's uh, let's look at the map. Yeah, see, our closest fuel point is over on the right next to just below the green mill. Oh, no. Or maybe it's just south of the shop. Yeah, there's one south of the shop. There's one there at the green mill. And there's one in the northwest by the lime station. So I guess for now, I'm going to hold off on that. I don't think we really need that. Um, especially since we're not going to be fueling very often. Now this is the other one that um, that I was thinking of putting on here. This is a filling station for seed, lime, and fertilizer. Both types of fertilizer. Um, and the way it works is you just take your equipment over there, you can fill it up, and uh, you still have to pay for it, but you don't have to deal with pallets anymore. So I was thinking of getting this. Um, if I can find a reasonable place to put it, that is. So let's see. You know, like someplace like here would be nice. Okay. Okay. Can I get it any closer? No. All right, so if I'm going to put it there, then I'm going to want to rotate it so that the dispensing side of it is facing that way. Yeah, I don't want to take up a ton of space, but it looks like it looks like this is going to be the spot for it. And that's only five grand. Uh, okay. All right, so this is uh, this is a mod that's not on ModHub, so this is only available for PC. Um, it may be available for console at some point. I'm not sure, um, but the sheds are the sheds are available on consoles as well. Um, and I'll put a link for this mod in the description in case anybody wants to try it out. Um, and I know at the beginning I said I was going to make this series console friendly, but um, the reason I did decide to use this one is it'll just it'll just save time in the gameplay and I think it'll make the series flow a little bit better so um, so I hope that's okay with everybody um, I did get I did get one person that commented before that he thought it would be a good idea um, I haven't heard from anybody else so I went ahead and got it okay well let's get back to the spring that uh, I had planned originally so let's go find the sprayer um, yeah I think I'll leave the forks I guess I'll just leave the forks over here too okay and you know next time uh, next time I'm gonna do a marathon recording session I'll probably hook up the wheel and pedals again um, but I just want to do show you guys how I'm getting along with the Xbox controller and uh, now I actually prefer ergonomically I prefer the PlayStation controller but I got an Xbox controller just because it it plays nicely with Windows um, there is software that you can use so that you can use a PlayStation controller on PC it will work but then that help menu in the upper left is still going to show me the Xbox controls um, because it works by just pretending to be an Xbox controller. Um, and then I wouldn't be able to use the, the tips there. All right, so I don't recall the status of this field on my left. If that needs fertilization or not. Let's see. Yes, that one needs fertilization and 13 needs fertilization. So let's do this one first. And I think if I hit right button A, okay. So I'm starting to figure out that the right button 
in combination with other buttons usually controls the tools. And the left button in combination with other buttons controls the vehicle. So at least there's some logic behind it. Okay, and then turn it on. Off we go. And then sometimes I forget to release the button. <laughs> and I end up holding it down for a long time and and perform actions that I, <laughs> that I didn't intend. I'm getting used to it. Little by little. Okay. Um, let's check to make sure that's actually working. All right. Yeah, it is. And I wanted to check just because we... I kind of lost track of where we were in our sequence of fertilizing and seeding and everything. But um, I think we had fertilized before we seeded. And then that gives us the... That gives us the change in state that we need to seed again. Now on another map um, that I'm playing just on my own, I use this sprayer with the Kuhn front fertilizer tank uh, and they work together. So if you have, if you're using this sprayer on a big field and you need some extra capacity, you can get, you can put that Kuhn uh, tank on the front and get another 1,500 liters, I believe. By the way, if, I, if anybody knows the correct pronunciation, is it Kuhn or Kuhn? I'd appreciate it if you let me know. I'd hate to find out after 50 episodes that I've been mispronouncing it the whole time. Okay, and I think I'm going to be just not quite wide enough. Yeah, so we're going to have to make two more passes here. And then I'll, I'll refill over at that new silo that I put in so that you guys can see how it works. And let me know what you think. You know, it was cheap. I can always take it out if, uh, if a lot of you are vehemently opposed to it. but I thought it wouldn't be a bad idea. And I also, I, I don't think it, well, I don't want to speak too soon. I don't think it runs on scripts. Um, so it's quite possible that that mod or something like it uh, could make its way to console at some point. Um, but I don't, I'm not going to go out on a limb on that. I'm not sure. Okay. So now what we can do is uh, we can just drive under this thing. And then we should get, you know, and then it works kind of like the grain silo. We should get a, a cue to fill. Yeah, there we go. Start filling. And then you select what you want. Uh, in this case, it's only giving me the option for liquid fertilizer. I hit start, it fills up our tank incredibly fast, and then it charges us for what we put in it. Okay, so let's go get started on 13. I'm gonna turn off this help menu, and uh, let's see how well I do without it. it's almost done and then when that gets done I'll put a worker on this guy and then we'll take that tractor to get washed and uh, do some repairs I think it's been a while since uh, since I repaired it I know some of the tools need to be repaired as well so that might be something good to do while we're waiting for our crops to grow 
I need to get over just a little bit here. Really looking forward to GPS mod. Um, I'm pretty sure it's being worked on for 19, but I know that um, I know that there was some. In fact, I don't even know if the uh, if the official SDK for FS19 has been released yet. You know, which lets modders know all the stuff they need to know to uh, to make mods. But I heard that it was not available at the time that the game was released. Okay. Yeah, I'm managing to stay reasonably straight here. That's not too bad at all. There we go. <clears throat> and we'll just try to make sure we're touching the edge of that side uh, without overlapping too much since the overlap just kind of wastes your fertilizer. Huh. Now there's a spot that's not taking the fertilizer and I'm gonna guess that it's because it's already at stage two. I think that's where I drove over the crop one time to, um, to empty the harvester. So the fertilization never got depleted on that spot. Because as we know from field 20, uh, crop destruction does not, is not the same as harvesting. Okay, so it looks like the seeding is done. So I'm gonna finish this pass and get turned around and then we'll put a worker on it. And we'll see if I can hire a worker without resorting to the keyboard. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Starting to shrink again. I don't know if I'm slouching or, <laughs> or what's going on there. Okay, this one we need to fold up. And then we'll go and get cleaned up for dinner. And I'm hoping the soybeans will be a relatively profitable crop like the canola was. And then hopefully after this next harvest, I'm hoping that we'll have enough money to to get an animal pen. And we'll put it over here close to field 20. We might even have to place it on top of field 20 and just, uh, you know, not use field 20 for agriculture anymore. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Okay. Um, how do I operate this thing? X? Nope. A. Y. <laughs> All right. Got to turn the help menu back on. Oh, left stick. Why didn't I think of that? Okay. Yeah, see, now this is tricky because I use my right thumb to hold down the B button, and that's the same thumb that I use to change my camera view. So I'm not going to be quite as agile with this as I am on the other controls. Fortunately, it doesn't really matter where you point it. It just matters how long you're spraying water on the particular object for it to get clean. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then 
turn it off. Okay, excellent. All right, now let's take a look at how we're doing on maintenance with both of these things. I know that the weight is in bad need of maintenance. <laughs> I wouldn't want my front weight to break. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do this one at a time. So we'll detach the cedar. Let's see if there's an option to repair two things at once. Okay, so that'll let us repair the weight. Let's go ahead and do that. Two bucks, not too bad. Now what happens if I do this again? Do I get the vehicle? No, I still get the weight. Um, I think it would be really nice if they would give us a menu, some way to select, to put multiple things in this little box and select which one we want to do. Okay, repair. Ooh, 386. That's rather expensive. Oh my god. I just sold my tractor. <laughs> Oh. Well, let's go and buy a new tractor. <laughs> oh, man. I just lost about twenty grand. Okay. Well, 170 horsepower. Maybe it's time to upgrade. Can I get 170 horse on a maximum? And what will that cost me? 124,000. Ooh, I can get more than that. 127. That's as high as we can go on that. I mean, it, I'm already losing money, so let's get something. Let's get something nice. I can go to 175 for 117. I don't want another T6. Ooh, maybe we should get a John Deere. Oh, that only goes up to 164, and it's more expensive. Uh, that's out of my price range. I'm going to have to borrow money as it is. Let's get a Maxim. I'm going to need to borrow a little more money. How much more can I borrow? Okay. see here 175 for 127 um, what can we get in a small tractor like a, a big <laughs> if we if we can say a big small tractor Wonder what we can get up to. Um, how about this Massey? No, it's never. Yeah, this thing's. It's never going to get up to. It's not going to get close to that. Um, I think the little Fent can pack a lot of power. That'll go up to one fifty. 
How about the smallest large tractor? No. Um, let's see. What if we, what if instead of upgrading an engine, yeah, see, there's such a huge jump. You go from 110, 120, up to 175. And then you got 210 horsepower to start. Maybe that would be a better way to go than getting like a small, medium one. Because then you're up into a bigger frame. Yeah, and that can go up to 270. It can also do a front loader. Hmm, I can do narrow tires. Dare I do it? <laughs> okay. Well, that shows you just how impulsive I am. All right, now we got to repay back as much of this loan as we can because uh, we're going to get hit with a hefty interest payment this evening. Oh, okay, and this guy has stopped. All right, so this is how you uh, this is how you make and spend money in farming simulator. All right, so I think uh, I think the next harvest is going to have to go to paying down the loan. But let's check this guy out. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This thing is sweet. Beacon's on, because I'm a badass. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is a nice tractor. Oh, and look how the beacons are lighting up my surroundings. There's an option for that. I didn't know it. Uh, but in the graphic settings, uh, where is it? Maybe it's here. There's one called Realistic Beacons. I don't see it now. Maybe it might only be in the main menu options. Um... But yeah, there's an option called Realistic Beacons that you can turn on. It was turned off uh, by default for me, so. All right, let's get this front weight put on. That, uh, that measly 650 kilogram weight probably won't even register on this bad boy. Okay, so the fields are fertilized. Uh, let's get our cedar repaired so that it's ready for its next mission. And then um, between now and the next episode, I think what I'm going to do... Um, okay. I'm going to have to be really careful with that sell button. That can get me in a lot of trouble. Let's try this again. There we go. Repair. Y. Yes. Now press back instead of sell. Whew. Okay. So what I'm going to do between now and the next episode is uh, just clean up the equipment, put everything away. I'm going to speed up time until the crop is ready to harvest. It's probably going to require... Um, pesticide. I'll take care of that. And when I see you guys again, we will start harvesting our fields. 
Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.